Shalom shalom ndugu mtazamaji uh, ninakusalimu katika jina la Yesu Kristo uh, leo niko mali hapa tuna mgeni mtumishi wa Mungu anaitwa Nestori na muda sio mrefu tutakwenda kuanza discussion ya jambo zuri sana katika Biblia na tuta discuss kwa bali ya title hii nasema the need to belong in a spiritual family ama umuhimu wa kuwa katika familia ya kiroho So kiwa mali hapa naomba uweze kuweka masikio yako vizuri uanze kusikia kile ambacho Mungu anakwenda kuzungumza na wewe. Bifaa tujaanza naomba nikukaribisha litambulisha alafu then tutaanza. Karibu sana. Asante mtu wa Mungu. Nashukuru sana. Mm. Labda kama tu prophet alivyosema ndio. Inaitwa mtumishi na story na nashukuru sana kwa invitation kama hii kwenye kipindi hichi kizuri. Ndio. Basi nipende tu kusema popote mambo ya Mungu yanapozungumziwa ndio ni chakula na kuna transformation inafanyika kama ilivyosema katika kitabu cha Walumi sura ya 12 mstari wa kwanza na wa pili kwamba na wasi mm. kwa huruma zake Mungu muitoe milioni za bihu takatifu mbele za Mungu mm. maana ndio ibada yenye maana sana lakini akasema msifatishe namna dunia hii bali mgeuzwe kwa mm. kufanya upya ni ya zenu kwa hiyo kuna jambo kubwa sana ambalo tutalipata siku ya leo mtumishi wa Mungu nakushukuru amen sana labda tuende moja kwa moja mtumishi wa Bwana ni story watu wanatamani kusikia na kufahamu ya kwamba nini maana ya spiritual family ama familia kiroho kwa sababu uh, ukiniuliza mimi hapa ninatoka kwenye familia ya mzee Martin yes. e, tuna familia za kawaida za hapa duniani na kila mtu ana identity yake ya kwamba ametoka kwenye familia fulani sasa tukija kwenye habari ya uh, spiritual family familia kiroho watu wanatamani kufahamu nini hasa maana ya familia kiroho Okay. Mm. Asante sana. Labda niseme kwenye utofauti kidogo kati ya spiritual family na Ndiyo. normal family kuna kitu kimeongezeka. Ndiyo. Neno kubwa pale ni familia Ndiyo. lakini kuna kitu ambacho kinaongezeka the word spiritual family. Spiritual family sawa. So lazima kuna spiritual thing ambayo imekuwa added hapo. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. spiritual family tunaweza kusema kwanza a family ni unity ya watu ambao mm -hmm. wana share some common interests. Mhm. Mm kuna kuna similarities ambazo hao watu wanakuwa nazo. Mm -hmm. That's why we call it a family. Wow. Lakini tunaposema sasa a spiritual family. Mm -hmm. It means kwamba uungu unahusika. Mm -hmm. Kwenye haya kwenye hili jambo au kwenye hmm. hamu. Labda kabla hujaelelea, no. naomba nisome definition hapa ya family. Sao. Anasema family mm -hmm. kwa kawaida afu tunajua kwenye spiritual. Sasa kwamba family is a socially recognized group. Anasema usually joined by blood. Yes. Masikia? Yes. Marriage, cohabitation or adoption okay. that forms an emotional connection among its members mm -hmm. and that serves an serves as an economic unit of society. Na hii hapa ni family definition according to sociology. Yeah, okay, Ehe. Okay, so, so. Labda kuna hii definition nyingine naweza nikaisoma pia hapa. Sawa. So. Tamsaidia ndugu yetu kuweza kupata kitu kingine. <coughs> okay, hii nyingine nasema kwamba a family is a group of two or more persons mm. related by birth, mm. marriage mm. or adoption who live together. Mm. Aha. Uh Allah -huh. for definition nyingine. Mhm. Mm Nadhani kuna haja ya kutumia hizi dictionary. Okay, hii hapa ni definition ya Merriam Webster dictionary. Sasa. Yenyewe nasema a mm. uh, farm anasema it is the basic unit in society mm. traditionally consisting of two parents raising their children. Also an any or any of various social units differing from from but regarded as equivalent to the traditional family. Wow. Na mimi nikomea hapo alafu tuendelee sasa. Sawa. Tubona definition mbalimbali za kuhusu family. Lakini ukiangalia lazima kuna maneno ambayo yamekuwa yanajirudia rudia. Ndio. Kuna connection. Kuna connection. Lazima, ya, kuna connection. Lazima kuwa kuna similarity ambao watu wao wanashare your common interest. Yes. Sawa? Ya, yeah. mm -hmm. most of hizo mm -hmm. definition mm -hmm. kitu blood mm -hmm. kinakuwa hatukitoi. hatukitoi. Yes. Mhm. Mm -hmm. Hatukitoi. Mm -hmm. Hatukitoi kwenye when you talk of family. Sawa. Talk of a family mm -hmm. blood is involved. Yes, blood is involved. Mm -hmm. Sawa. Kwa hiyo hebu <coughs> sasa tujaribu kujituangalie. <coughs> Kwenye familia lazima kuna kuna mkuu wa familia. Kuna mkuu wa familia. Yes. Ambaye ni baba, mama. Yeah. Sawa. 
kwenye familia mm. kila familia inakuwa na taratibu zake there is culture mm. kwenye hiyo mm. familia mm. lakini pia kuna orders kwenye hizo familia sawa lakini pia orders kwa maana ya uh, ni sema maelekezo yeah. eh, maelekezo yeah. eh, ambayo anatakiwa na familia wanajua kuyafuata yes. sawa lakini jambo kubwa mm. this family mm -hmm. wanakuwa wana save a common purpose wanakuwa na save a common purpose yes. sawa sawa purpose sawa na ni kama sehemu ya watu kujengwa mm. kuja kuchanua sawa again say that sawa sawa uh, kwenye familia <laughs> tutakuwa tuna kiongozi mkuu ambaye ni baba ndio tuna mama na kwa baraka za Mungu kuna mm. kuna watoto sawa lakini watoto wanavyokuwa wadogo <laughs> wana, wana save the vision mhm ya wazazi father mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. kabla mm -hmm. hawajaja kuwa detached from the family mm -hmm. waanze kufanya mambo yao okay yes, maagizo mm -hmm. ambayo kwa asilimia kubwa mm -hmm. baba wa familia anakuwa na mchango anakuwa na mchango mkubwa yes mm -hmm. kwa hiyo niweze kusema kwamba familia mm. ndio msingi mkuu mm -hmm. wa Mungu mm -hmm. kuliplicate mm -hmm watu mhm mm mhm mm ni msingi mkuu wa Mungu kuplicate mm -hmm. familia mm -hmm. lakini pia na maono mbalimbali ambayo Mungu anayo sawa baba nikukaribisha mtumishi wa Mungu wow wow, wow. Kabla, kuna kitu hujakiongea kwa yes. baada spiritual family yeah sijataka kwenda kwanza kwenye spiritual family okay tumeanzia kwanza kwenye big kwanza tu ya, ya duniani yes, wow sawa waweze kuelewa family. wow wow wito mbona eh watu wao pata picha Nimeshaanza kupata vitu vingi sana hapa. Yeah. Wow, Mungu akubariki sana. So ndugu mtazamaji, tumegundua kwamba uh, familia katika hali ya kawaida hapa duniani ni group la watu wanao share common interest na wanakuwa na kitu ambacho kina connect. Wana ni carrier of the same blood, tumeona wana carrier of the same blood DNA lakini wameweza ku ni matokeo ya Naona pia familia ni matokeo ya upendo. You see? Yeah, yeah. yeah kwa sababu without love hakuna matokeo ya family. So sisi tumezaliwa hapa duniani kwa sababu watu wao ipendana. Then tukao ni matokeo ya huo upendo. Ninaamini pia mm. even tukija kwenye spiritual family, yes. the core root of a spiritual family is love. Yeah, yeah. In John 3:16 nakumbuka and so for so go love the world, mm. si ndio? Mm. Ilikuwa ni love kwamba Mungu alikuwa hana connection kabisa na wanadamu na ilikuwa bado hajatengeneza spiritual family lakini mm. out of his love mm. ikatokea driving force mm. ya kuja duniani ku establish mm. another family mm. apart from the angelic family yes. uh, elders walioko mbinguni yes. so alikuja duniani kuweza kupata familia nyingine mm. lakini the motivation behind that family creation ilikuwa ni love so even duniani you see when kijana anapompenda binti wakamsema nataka ni kuoe ni love ile pale yes. then watu tunaanza kuzaliwa tunasema kwamba hiyo ni familia yeah. ehe so katika mambo yote connection damu na kila kitu lakini love is the master key so tunapoanza kwenda deep katika habari ya spiritual family nataka uwe makini sana kwa sababu kuna kitu ambacho utajifunza kuna kitu umezungumza mm. ya kwamba watoto wanapokuwa wadogo mm. always upokea orders yes. kutoka the head of the family ambaye ni baba au mama na ukazungumza kitu kimoja kwamba wataendelea kuwa part of that family until watakapofikia umri wa detach from that family so nataka utueleze hapo okay ninapata picha kwamba leo mimi labda niko hapa nimewahi kulelewa kwenye familia fulani lakini detaching from my father's family doesn't make me out of that family yeah Ehe. Yes. So kuna wakati watu wakikua wanajiondoa kwenye ile familia nadhani the main reason ni kuanza tena familia yes. nyingine ya kwao. Yeah. Na hii ni kama chain sasa kwamba nilikuwa naishi kwa baba sasa naanza familia mm -hmm. lakini bado mimi ni carrier of that name yeah. of that family, si ndio? Yes. Yes. So your detaching or detachment ya mtu from a certain family ina ina kavipi kwenye spiritual? Au hata tukiangalia kwenye hapa duniani kwamba na detach kwa sababu ya physical location au hata mtu anaweza kaiacha familia yake kabisa. Okay. Um, na before ujaanza kuongea pia kumbuke 
Mungu anambia Ibrahim kwamba toka wewe yes. katika nyumba ya baba yako yes. na ya mama yako yes. uende mpaka nchi ya mwanzo yeah. na huko nitakubariki. Yeah. Alafu pia kwenye marriage maandiko sio kwamba kwenye si mwanaume atawaacha wazazi wake atambatana mm. na mke wake nao watakuwa mwili mmoja. Yes. Tunaangalia familia kawaida kabisa. Yes. Iyo detachment inakuwa kwa content ipi? Kwa ukubwa upi? Mm. Alafu mm. tukija kwenye spiritual tutakuja kuelezea ambao nakuta kuna watu ambao wana tabia kuhama pia makanisa, wanabadilisha yeah, baba yes, kiroho yes, yes, yes. na vitu kama hivyo. Sasa tukijua kwamba kama naweza nikawaacha wazazi wangu nikafanya complete detachment mm -hmm. from my family. Mm -hmm. Then inatupa picha in the future kwamba tukianza kuelewa spiritual family mm -hmm. kuna uwezekano wa mtu kumwacha babake wa kiroho just tu ameamka kasema huyu sio babangu wa kiroho. Mm -hmm. Alafu akatafuta baba mwingine wa kiroho na hiyo kitu inakuwaaje anakuwa ni kweli amejidetach au tu anaigiza ndio maana watu wengi wafanikiwi mm -hmm. so nadhani tukijua kwenye concept ya ku detach from a family physically mm -hmm. alafu tukoje kueleza katika spiritually alafu tutaendelea karibu sana asante prophet asante mm -hmm. sana asante sana somo hili ni nzuri sana nzuri sana sana tunaendelea kuachilia vitu vingi vikubwa na vizuri mm -hmm. baba nipende kusema kwamba mm -hmm. kwanza um, mtu anapokuwa tuseme mtoto anapodetach from the family sawa mm -hmm. kuna In, age flani akifika yes. uh -huh. first there is the age mm -hmm. mtu afike mm -hmm. mm -hmm. lakini ile kujitach mm -hmm. tukiangalia kwa jicho sahihi zaidi sawa ile ni expansion wow sio kuacha sio kuacha na sio kusaliti hiyo familia ila ni kuendeleza yes hiyo familia yes that's wow. why mm -hmm. hata kwa taratibu zetu za kawaida sawa wazazi watawangalia watamwangalia sawa huyu mtu anakuwa ikifika muda uh -huh. kama kichelewa anaweza atakuanza kumwambia kwanza kutoa suggestion sawa mbona ya inabidi uoe sawa inabidi ujitegemee uh -huh. sawa the time sawa has come uh -huh. lakini ili jambo kwa nini nimesema kwamba mm. ni expansion uh -huh. kwa sababu kuna mawili uh -huh. mtu ikitoa kwa mfano mtu ametoroshwa uh -huh. uh -huh. au mtu ameondoka tu kwenye familia sawa akaenda kuanzisha maisha yake always mm -hmm. baraka za familia anakuwa mm, hana anakuwa ingawa ametoroshwa ingawa yes. ameondoka lakini yes. baraka za familia hazijaambatana naye mm -hmm. lakini pia wazazi mm -hmm. au wale wakuu wa ile family wanakuwa hajalizia mm -hmm. japo anaondoka mm -hmm. lakini the parents were not willing to let him go because maybe the time wasn't yet mm -hmm. au kwa mazingira mengine tofauti. Mm -hmm. So detachment mm -hmm. inatakiwa ifanyike kwa njia sahihi. Mm -hmm. Wazazi wataona sahihi mm -hmm. kwamba this is the time now. Sawa. Our son, mm -hmm. our daughter you have to begin your own life. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu tulisema mwanzoni kwamba watoto wanapokuwa mm -hmm. wanakuwa na save the purpose mm -hmm. ya wakuu. Sawa. Familia. Ambavo sasa kuna characters, kuna traits, kuna behaviors zinakuwa imparted. Mm -hmm. When the time comes mm -hmm kuna kitu pia ndani ya ule mtu wazazi mm -hmm. watabaliki sawa ikiwezekana ndoa itafungwa <coughs> yule atenda kuanza maisha sawa na sio kwamba sasa ametoka mm -hmm. yule bado anakuwa ni part of the big family sawa yes mm -hmm. lakini part of the core family yeah. yes uh -huh. core family or core family alafu yes. yeye ameenda ame, ni kama extension yes ni kama extension uh -huh. for expansion sawa so this is the vision mm -hmm. yeah in vision kwa sababu hatuwezi huyu 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 mm huyu -hmm. mtu mm -hmm. mtu utakapofikia mm -hmm. this family mm -hmm. inaweza hawa hawa kuu ukafika mm -hmm. mdao ukafanya nini wakaondoka mm -hmm. kwa sasa ku, 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 kuanzisha familia mm -hmm. maana yake ni kuendelea ku keep that name mm -hmm. yes kuendelea ku keep that mm -hmm. name kumbuka mm -hmm. wale watu wana traits za zi, za, za ile familia, familia yes mm -hmm. wana content za ile familia mm -hmm. kwa mtu akienda kuenza kufanya vitu vingine apart mm -hmm. from kila ambacho kimekubaliwa kwa wazazi inaonekana mm -hmm. kama ni mwasi sawa yes sawa yeah. kwa maanisha ya kwamba mm -hmm. No matter, no matter ni kwamba watoto hata sita watondoka kwenye familia yeah. issue sio detachment yes, yeah. in expansion yes, 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 na ni kuendeleza lile jina yes. so the more na inakuwa mm -hmm. inakuwa accepted yani uko uh -huh. accepted na wazazi yani wameridhia yeah, wow 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 so kwa lugha nyingine kwamba the more these kids wanapoweza ku the core family yeah. na kwenda mbali ndio familia inakuwa yes. 
yes. na jina linaelea kuwa kubwa zaidi duniani yes, 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 yes. wow wow wakati tunaongea kitu uh, ndugu mtazamaji sikiliza kitu cha, cha msingi sana yes. tutapoongelea detachment na hili ni moja ya ugonjwa mkubwa sana makanisani yes. hatujaanza kuongelea kwa bali ya spiritual family bado tunaangalia sifa za familia ya kawaida physical ambayo na yenyewe pia ina character zote za watu kuondoka kwenye familia mm. lakini the core root ya kuondoka the purpose ya kuondoka sio kuiua jina la ile familia lakini ni kuendeleza the name of that family sasa amezungumza mtumishi wa Bwana kitu ajabu sana akasema kwamba the right detachment from a family it has to involve blessing from the family yes, yes. anaeondoka kwenye familia na akaenda kuendeleza jina la familia about the detachment from the family ni kwamba kupewa baraka na wazazi lakini mtu akitoroshwa ama akaamua kuondoka kwa ugomvi katika familia ambayo ndio ndio asili yake akaenda kuanzisha familia nyingine na hakuna baraka zinazopatana naye ni kwamba huyo mtu anakuwa ana changamoto ya kufanikiwa na atastruggle sana katika maisha nikao nasoma kitabu cha mwanzo 24 kuanzia mstari wa 50 kwa habari ya Rebecca that day ambako mjakazi um, wa Ibrahim alimtuma Eliezeli akamwekea mkono kwenye paja akamwapisha akamwambia na kwa pizza ya kwamba hutamtwalia kijana wangu nani mabinti wanini waka nani na akaambia kwamba enenda malaika atakutangulia mm-hmm. maandiko nasema leo fembra kisimani akaomba akafanya prayer akasema kwamba Mungu ninaomba mm-hmm. ikiwa umemsikia bwana wangu Ibrahim ehe akasema ndipo itakuwa nitakapoanza kuna nia kwamba atatokea binti nita, nita, at, ataniambia kwamba nikimuuliza kwamba ni wapi ngamia zako maji atanikubalia then atanisaidia kuonyesha aliweka condition fulani kama nakumbuka yeah. anasema ikawa kabla hajamaliza kuomba tazama Rebecca huyu hapa ametokea yes. sasa walirudi nyumbani mm. naomba nisome hilo maandiko so. mwanzo 24 nianzie nianzie uh, na msalaba 6 Rebecca anapokubali Okay nianzia 45. Hata kabla sijaisha kusema moyoni mwangu. Okay nianzia 45. Ana uh, anafanya maombi, si ndio? Okay nianzia 42. Okay. Sikiliza Elizeli huyu mjakazi wa Ibrahimu anaanza kuomba kwa kisimani. Anasema kwamba nami nikaja leo kisimani nikasema e bwana Mungu wa bwana wangu Ibrahim. Imagine hapa hii statement anataja mm-hmm. Mungu wa bwana wangu. Yes. Ana recognize pia authority ya familia inayotokea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ehe. Yes. Nami nikaja leo kisimani nikasema e bwana Mungu wa bwana wangu Ibrahim. Mm-hmm. E, kuna makanisa ambayo tunasema kwamba Mungu wa baba yangu fulani. Yeah, Ehe, yes. ambao makanisa yes. mengine they don't believe katika fatherhood. Mm. So wana discourage sana baada ya kuomba ukisema Mungu wa baba yangu fulani. Ehe. Na nadhani pia ile na kusaidia kwamba hata kama you don't deserve kupewa yeah. neema hiyo yes. kwa sababu ya neema ya aliye juu yako unaweza yeah. kupokea. Unapata kabisa. Wow, sawa. Habari yeah. ya mke na mume unajua kama ni habari ya kuacha familia pia. Yes. Anasema hata kabla sijaisha kusema moyoni mwangu tazama Rebecca akatokea na mtunge begani mwake akashuka kisimani akateka. Nami nikamwambia tafadhali nipe maji ninywe. Akafanya haraka akatoa mtunge wake chini akanena unyo na ngamia zako nitawanyesha pia. Basi nikanywa akawanyeshwa na ngamia nao. Kisha nikamuuliza nikasema u binti wa nani wewe na akasema mimi ni binti wa Bethweli, mwana wa Nahori, Milka aliyemzalia. Nami nikamtia ili swali mtu anisikia vizuri. Mm. Swala kwanza aliyezeli anataka kujua which family yeah. are you belonging. Yes. Very yes. important. Yes, na kuna kitu nataka uh-huh. kusema. Sawa, eh before sijadelea. Mtu ambaye anahenga. Hakuna mtu ambaye Wow, wow. wow. No, Hakuna mtu ambaye tuseme hivi alitoka kwenye mavumbi ya ardhi yes. kama Adam. Yeah. Kwa sababu the only man ambaye hakuwa na familia yes. alikuwa ni Adam. Yeah. Mungu alimuumba, si ndio? Yes. Yes. Lakini baada ya hapo watu wote walipaswa kwenye familia. Yeah. Na kwenye Malakai 4 anasema kwamba tazama litamtuma mjumbe wangu na, na. habari ya roho ya Elia yes. naye ataridisha mioyo ya watoto mm. iweleke baba, baba yeah. na roho za baba mm. maana kwamba his spirit mm. ya watu kutokuwa na fatherhood kwenye masuala ya spirituality yes, yes. ilianza muda mrefu kwa ujio wa siku za mwisho wa Elia lengo kubwa ni kurejesha spiritual family yes, exactly. watu wa na babas wa kiroho exactly. na wa belong in a family exactly. So amezungumza mtumishi kwamba hakuna mtu anaye hang out kwamba asiye na familia. Ule tutazama lazima kuna mahali unatokea. Haukutokea kimuujiza ila ni kwamba ulizaliwa katika familia. Na kila mtu lazima awe kwenye familia. Sasa sikiliza. Akauliza kwamba u binti wa nani? Maana yake who is your father? U binti wa nani? Na akasema mimi ni binti wa Bethuel. Akataja jina la baba, 
Sina sujui ana anafuata vitu kama hivyo. Nikainama nikamsujudia Bwana nikamtukuza Bwana Mungu wa Bwana wangu Ibrahim aliyeniongoza njiani. Ni mtu aliye mwana wa hiyo okay sawa. Sasa wanafika nyumbani. Mhm. <coughs> wa wa msina moja. Tazama hiyo Rebecca yuko mbele yako au msini. Ndipo Rabani na Bethuel wakajibu wakasema neno hili limetoka kwa Bwana wala sisi hatuwezi kukuambia neno jema wala baya. Mm. Kuna kitu hapa nataka watu wakipate pia. Mhm. Mm Nianzie nadhani mstari wa 47. Yes. Ah uh, kwamba huyu binti wa 8 ameuliza ile swali, si ndio? Mm -hmm. Okay. Albana nikainama nikamsujudia Bwana nikamtukuza Bwana Mungu wa Bwana wangu Ibrahim aliyeniongoza njiani mtwalie mwana wa Bwana wangu binti wa ndugu yake basi kama mnataka kumfanyia rehema na kweli Bwana wangu niambieni kama sivyo niambieni ili nigeuke upande wa kuume na wa kushoto ndipo Labani na Bethueli wakajibu hawa ni wazazi wa binti mm. neno hili limetoka kwa nani kwa Bwana yes. wala sisi hatuwezi kukuambia neno jema wala baya mm. tazama huyo Rebecca yuko mbele yako umchukue unasikia ridha yeah. ehe Umchukue ukaende zako awe mke wa mwana wa Bwana wako. Yes. Kama alivyosema nani? Bwana. Mm -hmm. Hawa ni wazazi wanatoa kibali cha kuchukuliwa yes. Yes. binti. Yaani wanasema kwamba tunakubali tunaridhia kwamba aondoke. Yeah. Ah, sasa sasa. Ikao mtumishi Ibrahim aliposikia neno hayo, akainama hata nchi mbele za Bwana, kisha huyo mtumishi akatoa vyombo vya fedha na vyombo vya dhahabu, mm -hmm. mavazi akampa Rebeka na vitu vya thamani akampa ndugu yake, mai pia wakala wakanywa, yeye na watu waliokuwa pamoja naye na wakakao usiku wakaondoka asubuhi naye akasema nipeni ruhusa niende kwa bwana wangu huyo ni rebeka anasema nipeni ruhusa before haja detach anasema nipeni ruhusa si mnisikia mtumishi wa bwana very important yeah. so habari ya kudetach from a family it has to be ipewe ruhusa ruhusa itolewe yes. ehe